cataractcoach.com. Nucleofractus is tough with a soft PSC cataract. With low nuclear density, how do you split up the nucleus? So here again, a nice looking Rex is done, routine case. And this, you can see, is just a posterior subcapsular cataract. So there's not a lot of nuclear density here. So what is your favorite technique? For me, I want to get the nucleus out of the bag. So I'll do a lot of hydrodissection to really get it freed up and bring it up out of the bag. Here's a nice looking fluid wave, now freeing up the cataract from the capsule bag. But again, the surgeon here is going to try to do a nuclear fractus in the bag, I think, because I'd get this up right now. I'd do more hydrodissection, get a fluid wave going, get some pressure behind the nucleus, bring the nucleus up out of the bag. There you go. That's a start. It'll be a lot easier, I, I tell you. Now, here comes viscoelastic. Oh, there you go. A little bit of a gap behind it. So maybe the surgeon is going to bring it up out of the capsule bag. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. As you know, if a surgeon sends in a video that looks pretty good, I'll click through a couple bits of it, and I will do it in uh, real time. So I'll make the audio right now as I'm watching with you. So beautiful. I like the idea of lifting that nucleus up. No nuclear fractus in the bag. So getting it lifted up out of the bag using this kind of spatula in the other hand, very helpful, kind of bringing that thing forwards. I like how the surgeon brings the uh, lens pieces in front of the probe. That looks fantastic. Nice little technique there. Not sure what this little spatula is called, but it's kind of a neat looking instrument for this purpose. And now you can see you made short work of the nucleus. Fantastic. So agree, I'd do the same thing. Soft nucleus, get that lens up out of the capsule bag. Hey, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. While the surgeons, which is over to the eye probe. You know, so much great material there. If you have a question about a specific type of case, don't email me. Go to cataractcoach.com. Use the search function. There are 2,200 videos. I promise you'll find what you want. Now, cleaning up here, doing some cortex removal. Here's the eye probe. The rest of the case is pretty easy. So, again, these soft posterior subcapsular cases, don't try to split it in the bag. It's just too much grief. It's much easier to get the nucleus up out of the capsule bag. If you've seen videos of me doing this on cataract coach, I will do the hydrodissection, get the nucleus prolapse partially into the anterior chamber, then I'll hydrodelineate to further separate out the layers of the, the lens, kind of like layers of an onion. And then it's just really quite simple to aspirate it. And also it's a higher degree of safety. Doing nucleofractus for a soft lens in the bag may be more risky than prolapsing it out of the capsule bag and aspirating it down. You don't have to worry about excessive phaco energy because in a case like this, the total amount of phaco energy is very close to zero. You're really not putting much energy in the eye. Here at the end of the case, put in some viscoelastic, fill up the capsule bag, get the lens in, and we can see what the size of the final rex is. What do you guys think? I'm guessing five-ish, except that one area, maybe 5.5 in that area, but it should overlap the optic 360. That's just my guess. We'll see as the lens comes in the eye. It'll be a three-piece lens or a single-piece lens, but regardless, it should have a six-millimeter optic. For most lens design, here we go. Here comes the lens. So it looks like a single piece acrylic lens. Get that delivered, 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 and get it in the bag. And so you don't need a mega size Rexus. Even if you have a four and a half millimeter Rexus with a soft posterior subcapsular cataract, you can still easily prolapse it out of the um, FACO, out of the capsule bag, and FACO it at the Irish plane. So there's that Rexus overlap. Yeah, maybe five and a half ish. That looks pretty darn good. That's a beautiful looking case. Going behind the lens, removing viscoelastic. And then going in front of the optic and cleaning that up. And nice overlap by the Rexus. Very nicely done. So interesting case here. Please leave me a comment below. What is your technique for a soft cataract like this? Younger patient, let's say 50-year-old patient, very little zero to trace nuclear sclerosis and just an extensive posterior subcapsular cataract. What would you do? What's your way of getting that lens out of the bag? What is your way of nuclear fractus if you're doing it in a case like that? What is your fantastic way that's safest and most efficient in your hands to deliver a great outcome like we saw in this case? Leave me a comment below and let's uh, learn together. Thanks for watching. Wait a minute. What's that little piece right there? Wait, wait, hold on. We can't. We're not. There's a little piece there. All right. Yeah, okay. I think it got flushed out of the eye. So a little more hydration here at the end. You see the AC kind of shallow still, so you got to make sure the incisions are absolutely watertight. If that eye wall starts to come forwards or more anterior, Push it back. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cover it up again by the rex's edge. And then make sure you really get completely watertight incisions there so that you have that pressurized anterior chamber so the eye well does not come out of the capsule bag. This is a little bit of a generous rex. It's 5.5 plus millimeters. And so we want to make sure it's absolutely sealed. 
Now it looks better. All right. Thanks for watching.